Hello and welcome to week 31 of top 5 Steam Profiles of the week. This series is in association with the Artwork Profiles subreddit and Steam group. Link is in the video description below. My name is Peep Leader. I make artwork videos, tutorials, templates, all of that jazz. Uh, it's pretty good so if you want to come check it out, link in the description below. I'm taking over for Sabuna this week. He's got some personal stuff happening right now and he should be back next week. On your screen right now you can see last week's giveaway being drawn. And the winner is Melis Labs. I'm sorry if I butchered that name. Check your YouTube messages and reply with your trade URL to claim your keys. Anyway, we have some great profiles for this week, so let's take a look. Coming in at number 5 this week, we have Artemo, who has a nice Rayman themed profile. It has a simple looping GIF in his artwork showcase with the infinite height edge uh, aligning with his main artwork piece. Looks good. The font manages to stay consistent throughout the theme and the design group's logo has the same font. Keeping it consistent looks good. Going down to the workshop, he has a simple looping workshop showcase, looks good. The screenshot showcase has virtual sidebars on the left side to make it look symmetrical. He has his favorite game set to Rayman, which fits his theme. And in the achievement showcase, it has his name. Fourth, we have .exe who has a very nice looping animation of his name in the artwork showcase and in this side artwork showcase he has read the info box. Scrolling down to the info box we see he has information about how he accepts friend requests, PC specs, interests, links to his other social medias and then in the screenshot showcase we have a looping animation. In the achievement showcase he has achievements that match the black and white sort of two-tone color theme he also has a game collector and badge collector showcase, which doesn't fit with the theme, but it shows off some stuff. Very nice. At number three this week, we have Rose, who has a Paris theme profile, the band, not the city. They have a consistent theme in the artwork showcase. They have their name animating in and out with uh, band members in the background. On the right hand side of the artwork showcase, you can see White Noise, which is one of their songs. Going down to the screenshot showcase, you can see they've animated one of the band members dancing in a mirror. And on the right hand side, you can see mirrors, another song. In the about me section, they have the logo of the band and in the item showcase, they have some black and white CSGO skins to match the black and white theme. In the achievement showcase, they have the name in black and white. And in the workshop showcase, they have Paris animating in and out. And in the background, they have a song from the band. Very nice work. This profile has a great theme to it. Coming in third this week, we have Melissa, who has a glitchy Vaporwave themed profile. In the artwork showcase, you can see it has Melissa and the logo go into place and then a glitch effect comes over it. Same in the workshop showcase. And then scrolling down to the information, you can see uh, just general information about her PC specs, etc. In the screenshot showcase, they have a character with a glow effect behind it that then gets hacked. And in the rest of the profile, they have showcases that fit the pink and blue theme of Vaporwave. Very nice work. Coming in first this week, we have Dead Nako. I hope I pronounced that right. With a Watch Dogs 2 themed profile. There is some blue text scrolling in the background. One of the main characters, Wrench, animating with their name, Dead Nako, animating on top. Going to the workshop showcase, we see Dead Nako's name animating in and out in the middle and the dead sex skulls either side. To the screenshot showcase, we see Marcus Holloway, one of the main characters from Watch Dogs 2, animating with some particle effects in the background. The dead sex logo also animating on his phone. Looks really good. In the achievement showcase, we have Nako, spelt out in blue characters which fits the theme well and in the items up for trade i don't even know what happened here it is glitchy as hell but it looks really cool this whole profile is very good great work that's it for this week i hope you enjoyed if you'd like to be considered for next week's episode comment on sabuna's steam profile link to that will be in the description and we'll see you next week thanks for watching Peace later. What the